Greetings Southern Indiana Sawmill Watchers. Welcome to another video of me sawing another log. Uh, today I'm going to be sawing up uh, one cherry log and three walnut logs that a customer dropped off for me here at the house. And uh, we're getting into the winter months and I can tell it. I got my warm winter gear on. And one thing has happened to me today that uh, has happened in the past and that is it gets cold and I forget to put some kind of a de-icer in the water tank and my lines get frozen. So we have one obstacle right at the beginning that I'm going to get over and then we'll get to sign some cherry. I'm going to show you real quick uh, how I thaw out my lines. This is the line right here that is frozen and I have to find a way to defrost this so that I can get the lubrication working properly on my mill. It really does help the uh, the mill to cut a lot better when you have the lube going on it and it keeps your blade clean, helps it last longer. So what I have here is essentially uh, boiling hot water in my water cooler here and what I have to do is undo the line and I'm actually pretty lucky because the water in the tank itself is not frozen just the line so it was just at that tipping point last night try not to spill boiling hot water on yourself and then what I do is just a very little bit at a time start pouring this down into there and you'll see in no time at all it takes that and the ice will start coming right out of it there it goes and you know you're getting you know you're getting it thawed out when you start getting the water coming out of the bottom and sometimes uh, this might seem a little bit odd but it actually helps to blow on the end of it to try to force some of the air out of it. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but that I don't know if you can hear that or not, but that was the water coming out the other side, so it is working. You know, back when I used to live in the south end of Louisville, I saw a guy doing something similar to this with a gas tank. Most of the time when you're watching one of my videos, it's because I'm on site on the job. I'm under the gun, uh, I have pressure to get the job done, and so I don't really have time to sit and explain exactly what it is that I'm doing. So normally, you know, I'm editing all of that into it uh, after I get home, and I'm going through the process. Come here, boy. Sit. Come here. Good boy. Sit. It's my puppy. He's only seven months old right now, so he's still learning. This particular log right here, I'm going to be having to get one three inch slab out of for some legs for some tables. The rest of it is going to be four quarter or one inch thick. So my main goal is here to avoid the pith of the log, which is right here. So what I'm going to do is essentially, I'm going to take from that pith of the log and I'm going to saw out three inches out of the middle, like so, and then we're going to cut the sides of the pith out, and then he's going to have two very nice quarter sawn, uh, three inch thick cherry slabs for the legs on his table, I think that's going to be beautiful, and the rest of it we're pretty much just going to take this down and then we're going to flat saw it across, and he'll end up with some nice boards to work with there, a couple of those being quarter sawn as well. So that's about it. I'm going to show you today the cherry log and then I'm going to saw the walnuts a little bit later. I got to tell you, every video I make, it never fails. I always get at least one safety Nazi uh, telling me that I'm doing something wrong. I used to work a fairly big industrial operation uh, when I was down in Louisville and I was a supervisor there. And they, they were big enough that they had, of course, their own safety supervisor there. And it was all OSHA regulated and all of that and you would get docked for having a piece of paper on the floor as a safety hazard. Uh, that kind of stuff just never made sense to me. Now, I think the greatest piece of safety that you can have in a work environment is a good sense of self-awareness, and I do admit that at times I failed in that pursuit, uh, if you've seen some of my videos, um, but sometimes you do find yourself in situations where you have to remove safety guards and you just have to do certain things to get the job done on different pieces of equipment. So today I have my safety glasses, and I actually prefer earplugs over earmuffs for my working, and a pair of gloves. 
it is difficult to operate the mill. Anyone that owns a sawmill knows this. It's difficult to operate the mill with big bulky winter gloves and also uh, handle the lumber and go back and forth and you have to take your gloves on and off. And um, at least for me, that gets to be a challenge after a while. So my hands are pretty tough at this point. <laughs> I prefer to work without the gloves most of the time, of course, unless it is absolutely freezing cold and I have to wear them.
All right, guys, well, that's it for sawing the cherry log. Um, it went fairly well. Um, a lot of this cherry actually has a very nice figure in it. And so I'm gonna take a couple pictures and hopefully you can see that in the pictures. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you're seeing, please go ahead and subscribe. I have uh, all different kinds of sawmill videos and also woodworking videos that you'll see in my workshop. Thanks very much for watching. Have a great day.